Hi, my name is Pam Denny. I'm an analytics architect for IBM's Maximo Asset Management product. In today's web recording, I want to highlight new features of Maximo 7605 regarding report toolbar print updates. This recording is a follow-up from the previous recording where we went through a PowerPoint presentation and we described these new features in detail. But what I'm going to do in this recording is actually show you those features in action. So I've already signed in to a Maximo 7605 environment and I've accessed work order tracking. So let's first go through a scenario as a user and then I'll highlight some new features in the report administration application. So basically imagine you're an end user and you create a query in again work order tracking and you want to run a report. Well, one way you can do that is from the action menu, select run reports and you'll see a list of all the reports that you have security access to. If you select one of those reports and it has parameter values, you'll see that at the very top of what we call the report request page and the user can enter those values. Additionally, they can define schedule and emailing for future running of that report or they can ex excuse me, execute it immediately. Another option is you might select a report and you'll notice here it doesn't have any parameter values. These types of reports utilize the application query and it's dynamically passed to the report. It makes it easy for the user. They don't have to double click or re-enter their parameter values. Again, we pass the current query from the application to the report and it displays. But you may notice as you're going through that might be more dialogues than the user wants to enter or information that they want to enter. And additionally, we find that many users run the same report over and over again. So because of that, we have what we call this report print capability as shown in the top toolbar button. There are three types. One is browser view. The next one is print and print with attachments. And you can see as you mouse over each one of the icons, you will see the type of functionality it enables followed by the report that it is configured to work from. And you do this configuration in the report administration app. And I'll show you that as we go through the presentation. So let's imagine that I click on browser view. Well, what is that gonna do? Well, this functionality has not changed in Maximo 7.6. It is the same functionality and basically it passes that selected record set over to the report browser, but I don't have to access the action menu in those additional dialogues. I see my list of records, I can print them, I can export them, whatever I might need to do to work with that. But now let's imagine the scenario that the user is working with a record or a set of records and he wants to print them. Well, I've selected just one record here because it's a little bit easier, a little bit quicker and I have 1003. Well, I just want to print this, so I'm going to select the action, print work order details. Before I do that, just to recap the changes in 7605, we're no longer dependent on the Java applet for this functionality, and additionally, we are no longer dependent on the user having a version of Adobe Reader on their client or their laptop. So in my case, on my machine here, I do not have a version of Adobe Reader. So I'm going to use the viewer that is enabled with the browser. And this is where we're going to see variations dependent on the browser type you're using, whether you're using IE or Firefox or Chrome. And in my case, I'm using a Chrome browser. So let's see what happens. And again, this will be different in this version of Maximo. So I see a dialogue and the dialogue says, hey, I'm preparing this work pack for you, which is my configured work order details report. And he says, well, what do you want to do with this? Well, in this case, I do want to print it. That's what I want. So I want to go ahead and select print. For the purposes of this demonstration, I have set up a virtual printer, which is in essence Primo PDF. It's just a way for me to print the report. So imagine that's a physical printer that I might walk over to. And so I see a dialog. I'm going to go ahead and create that. In this case, I'm giving it a name because this is all a, a virtual printer again. 
Just give it a quick name, save, and I have, in essence, created my report. I just said created my report, excuse me, printed my report. But now I have to go ahead and down or close that dialogue. So that's the difference that, again, you're going to see because now I'm reliant on a viewer within the browser because I don't have Adobe Reader or the Adobe Client on my machine. So that's one case, but now let's imagine there's an attachment. And in this case, I do have an attachment. I have a single file here. So I'm going to click on this button, and not only am I going to print the report, but I'm going to print any printable attachments, and I'm going to form them as one PDF file as we talked through as our record pack. And I'm going to click on that. It gives me that same message. Do you want to go ahead and print them? I'm going to say yes. Again, I'm going to see that dialogue present to me what do you want to do with this do you want to print it and let me open it up so you can see exactly what's going on here i have three pages to this it looks like i have two pages for my report and then in the bottom is my attachment which is this awesome looking dog and maybe this time i actually don't want to print it maybe i want to save this maybe this is important to me and i need to save this functionality and this is something that we didn't have before so instead of printing it, maybe I want to come over here and select Save as a PDF file. So I could go ahead and save that. Again, it's going to present me with a dialog. Where do you want to save it? I'm going to just save it there. And now instead of printing it, there's new features available where I actually can download and save that, the report and its attachment. Really nice functionality there. And then I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then what you're going to see is here's the two different individual files that I've created. So nice type of functionality there that, again, is available in the 7605 release. So just to recap one other component of how this is enabled, uh, let's go here to Report Administration. Get my eyes working here. Uh, let's do a quick filter on the report. Uh, let's see, application would be work order. That probably would have been a little bit quicker. Excuse me for that. Um, let me just grab that work order details report right over here. And a couple of things, all those icons are enabled through the functionality that's shown over here, report administration. You need to configure a couple of things, and there's a few requirements. First, the report cannot have any parameters. We don't want that dialog to display where the user has, has to interact. We need to pass the application queries. So as long as the report doesn't have any parameters defined, you can configure this. And again, you're going to configure whether you want browser view, print, print with attachments. You could have all of those features available or none. And then once you configure that, you need to specify exactly where in the application you want it to display, whether it's the list tab, all tab, main tabs, etc. And then the toolbar sequence. Imagine you had a number of different reports you wanted to display in the application. The toolbar sequence will just help you define the order of those. And then finally, very importantly, is the limit record functionality. Because we're doing a lot of printing and potentially bringing in large number of attachments, you want to have a reduced set of records here because you don't want the processing to be so long. A great example is imagine you had 100,000 work order records and they had each one of them anywhere from one to three different attachments. That would be a huge job to process and to print. So we put this functionality on so you can configure what the maximum number of records that should be enabled for printing. Again, that's for the toolbar access and it's going to streamline that whole process. So to recap here what we've done, we've configured 7605, made changes to the printing process from the toolbar, no longer dependent on the Java applet, no longer dependent on Adobe Reader on the client machine. You will see different experiences when you print depending on your browser type, i.e. Firefox and Chrome. But you also have new functionality here where you can specify the printer you want to go to. And you also have the option to save the report either as a PDF or save the report with its attachments as a PDF file. So with that, thank you very, very much for your time.